So sometimes we'll want to make a script do the same thing over and over again uh, in a loop for a set period of time or through a specific number of items. So we do that using looping and we're going to take a look at a couple of loops, a while loop and a for loop. So you see we have loop one, loop two. And again, I've already created them. So we'll just take a look at them. We'll talk through what they do and then we'll test them out. So I'm in a nano loop one dot sh. Now this is a basic while loop and a while loop will happen as long as a condition is true. And that condition is here in square brackets. So while a variable named num is less than or equal to, that's dash le 10, then it will do everything that's in this box between do and done. So we start out by creating the variable and we give it a number of one. And then while that number is less than or equal to, it will do this and it'll do two things. It will echo the number or display the current value of the variable and then it will increment it. So the first time we go through this number equals one, it's less than or equal to 10. The condition is still true. So it displays one and then it increments the number to two and then comes back and does it again. Now number is two. Okay, it's still true, it's less than or equal to 10, so it does it again, displays the number two, increments it to three, and then goes round and round until we get up to nine, which is less than or equal to 10. So we display the nine, we increment it to 10. We come back up, we check it again. Num is still less than its value is 10 now. It's still less than or equal to 10, so this condition is still true. So we display the 10, we increment it to 11, we come back up and we check it again. Now the number is 11, that is not less than or equal to 10, therefore the condition is false, and it drops us down to the next part of the script, of which there is none, so it exits, exits it out. So while loops are great for doing a function in, as long as a condition is true, and that's their primary purpose. Let's see how this actually works. So I'm gonna exit. And I am going to execute period forward slash loop one dot sh. And it's going to count one through 10 and exit. Okay, not a productive script, but it does illustrate the purpose of the while loop. And that's what we were looking for. On a humorous side note, the first thing I ever did uh, in computers, um, or one of the first things I ever did was a friend of mine and I, um, I was, I don't know, 10 at the time we were using GW basic and we would write a little program that would just do exactly this. It would count inside of a loop. And we just thought it was the most hilarious thing ever. Had absolutely no purpose in life, but we enjoyed the heck out of it. All right, let's take a look at our second loop. So we're going to nano loop two dot S H. Now, this one is a different type of loop. This is a for loop. And so a while loop does a function over and over again, as long as a specific condition is true. The for loop works through a list of things. So in this case, what we did is we created a variable called toppings and we assigned it four values, pepperoni, sausage, olives, and cheese. Can you tell I'm starting to get hungry? And then we echo my favorite pizza toppings are, and this is where we begin our for loop. So the for loop, what we do is we'll take the dollar sign toppings, and that's going to be our list of objects. And then we're going to assign another variable to each individual uh, object. So in this case, we called it T. It didn't have to be T. I called, could have called it top or Q or, you know, flugelhorn, whatever. But basically what it does is it creates another variable that's going to store each individual object in that list. So the first one is going to be pizza or uh, pepperoni. So then we do everything within the this do done block. So we're going to display our first one is pepperoni. So T is pepperoni. So we display T. We say pepperoni. We come back up. We do it again. We grab the second thing on the list. In this case, sausage. We display sausage. We come back up, we do uh, set T to olives, we display that, we come back up, we do set T to cheese, we display that, we come back up, there's nothing else left for us to do, so we drop out. And we continue on with the script, and in this case there is nothing left, so we're done. So that's what the for loop does. It loops us through a list of things, one thing at a time. Let's see what this looks like. 
do control X and let's execute loop two dot S H. It says my favorite pizza toppings are, and then list them pepperoni, sausage, olives, and cheese one at a time, just like it was supposed to. Okay, so that gives you a couple of examples of different scripts. The while script will loop through things as long as a condition is true, and the for will take a list and work through each object in the list.